So this is a driver's side uh, mirror off of the, uh, I guess, uh, 2001 to 2007 Highlander. I'm going to fully disassemble it and prep it for painting to match my current Highlander, which is actually self red. This one is uh, some sort of metallic blue. So I'll probably start by taking the mirror off so I don't accidentally break it. So how you would take the mirror off is push it toward the top of the mirror and you should see where the two clips that hold the mirror to the actual uh, servo, that, the adjustment servo of the mirror. So you just pry it a little bit. Put a little small screwdriver in there. Once you pop that off, so there are two clips right here. One, two. It just clips into here, so you just want to pry it so it snaps out. And then you, there are two hooks on the top of the mirror. What you do is just lift and move it this way. So again, this is a heated mirror, so there's a heated element right here. The two wires connected to it and a clip right here. Quick connect clip. So, let's see. I really don't need to take it out, but I find it easier when you pop this out. It's easier to grab onto the uh, quick disconnect clip. So we'll just set this aside in a safe place. So the next step what I would do is try to disconnect this clip right here. So it's best to take a picture of it if you can't. If you, your memory isn't that good. To uh, so once you take the wires off, you'll be able to replace them in the right order. So there's a clip up here. The clip match clip. And so we'll just find a place where we pry it up. You get me something sharp. Yeah, it should come out. At this point, I'm gonna get something. There's a quick piece of masking tape. So you have two black wires here. So I don't think it matters because it goes to the heating element. 
which wire goes where, but it's connected back the same way it came from the factory. So I'll do this, I'll wrap a piece of matching tape around it, just kind of color code it. Flag it. Connector. Indicate where it goes. And it'll match up. Like that. Okay. And come out easily. Just go in here. Push the contact down. Two have to be sharp. This is a, this is a very sharp pair of tweezers. It's actually taped onto the gasket right here. Alright, next step. We'll disconnect the mirror housing and server assembly from the the mounting, I guess you could call it bracket that mounts to the side of the car. So these are Works at uh, T point five. Three of them, obviously. And held in place by blue lock tight. Again, this mirror is for a 2001 to 2007 Highlander with heat and mirrors. It doesn't actually matter if you don't have heat and mirrors and you just happen to get a heat and mirror because they share the same plug. It's only the, the, the only difference is that these two black wires for the heating element. A, a, a non-heated uh, Highlander mirror has these three wires too. So this is just additional. So if you were to actually get a replacement heat and mirror and just run two wires and connect it uh, accordingly to this plug, which is exactly the same as on the non-heated mirror. You would, in theory, you'd be able to get a, a heated mirror. So I don't think they they uh, use a different uh, 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 wiring harness just to you know uh, to uh, to separate the non-heated from the heated mirrors if it's equipped. Last one. My Highland bed does not have heated mirrors so since I got this one I'm just gonna repaint it and install it on my Highlander. They should have heat and mirrors. Okay. So you just 
screwdriver. Classic pin that the the gasket locks into, but it's not critical. Mounting bracket on the car side. Uh, all right, so there is one, two, three, and four screws holding the the mirror adjustment servo assembly I guess in place of start by putting the bottom one off. Top.
this, wiggle it out. There you go. Complete this assembly of the mirror housing from the uh, mirror dry motor and servo. All right. So this is it. And Here is another drive assembly. This is actually off, uh, also Highlander. This is actually the non-heated version. So the only difference is it does not have this pigtail right here for the heating element. Uh, so if you were to, if you were wanting heated mirrors, all you have to do is buy a replacement. A uh, heated mirror and add a pigtail of your own to one of these which doesn't have the pigtail and connect it accordingly to the connectors just the uh, two black wires to the side and you should build uh, you know run heated mirrors and it would defrost for you so we're gonna probably do that